Welcome <coughs> to my next episode. So here, I've been doing Roll20 along with um, Mega Mech. So I took some time <coughs> and placed all the units onto my map that's in Roll20. Yeah, I have a database that has everything listed, but I prefer a visual overall so you can see where all my all the units are throughout the map. Alright, <clears throat> now I have been doing the Freedom Federation, this battle right here. And uh but I decided once I started the series that I was only gonna do a month at a time in Mega Mech time. Alright, so I hit the end of July with the chapter's revenge. Now I'm going to the next faction and do its July's battles. All right? The unit that we're gonna follow for Davian is the 36 Avalon Hussayers. <coughs> Forgive me. And we're attacking Hatchet Man. Now the reason why I'm attacking this plant is that Intel has discovered that there is a secret research facility in an old uh, space station that's circling one of the plants. So there's going to be two primary goals for the 36. That is to take over the plant and to try to recover the space station without uh, blowing it up. Because it is Star League material uh, from the core that the the part that the Karita got and they're researching stuff on right so with that in mind I'll come over to my map all right I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. Alright, so here's the solar system of Hatchet Man. Now, I didn't have any official documentation about this solar system, so I just made it up. Alright, so here's the main. Oh no, we're having to my. Aha! Here's the main plant. There's Hatchet Man. And that's where one of the. Uh, Ninth Ghost fleet is at. And I have another fleet over here protecting the space station. Alright, so the 36 is going to come in with their fleet. And yes, I realize it's 33 and that there's not too many uh, battleships or destroyers or whatever, but this is my universe. And I'm going to make the what I want. <laughs> so we're going to have a space fleet, a space battle. And the object is <clears throat> going to my computer roll faster, scroll faster. All right, so I'm using the Battletech structural structure of uh, record sheet for the space station. Alright, so all these weapons coordinate with what is in Mega Man. So if I destroy one of those weapons, I can mark one of these off. Uh, the goal for my Space Marines is to go in, uh, disable the weapons so that they can't fire at the fighters and stuff, and also take over <coughs> the uh, station without destroying it. So I've already Im embedded the Karita Space Marines and crew. So the one that's just red is crew, and it's 10 members. These right here are space marines, and they're 20. Oh, here, I'll just do this one. This is squad 10 right here. So 20 men, they attack at 400 morale. All right, now I have Davian space marines. I'll all load it up into, into the ships, and if the ship gets destroyed in Mega Mech, I'll mark it off. 
and they're going to try to land through the space dock here and also the space door which is over now I'm fully expecting this to be several videos here's the space space door all right so these are research well let's see <clears throat> see if I remember my colors because I did this a couple weeks ago Yeah, those, those on the bottom level is science labs. And then I have the hangar. And then I have crew quarters on two levels. And then I'll have um, research labs. And then, and then the very top level is the command center. So, and this goal here is the elevator. So I gotta work my way through. I'm using a, <clears throat> I'm gonna be using a different um, combat. Um, resolution all right so I'm gonna roll all right I have these modifiers and then I'll roll a 2d6 and there's my outcome and then what I do for it and so when the unit gets down to zero men they're destroyed so I'm not using Mega Meg for the space battle. So what I'm going to do is Mega Mech, <clears throat> I'll have the space battle bring the assault vehicles within a hex of the space station that will simulate a docking procedure and then I'll move those particular Marines into the space station and so then after every turn of Mega Mech with the capital ships and the fighters fighting out and the space station firing at my at me. I will then go into the space station and fight the marine battle, and we'll go from there. All right. Now the computer does not do good with with spaceships or fighters, so I'm gonna be playing both. And we'll try to be honest with myself and with you. Of course, I can't change the roles, so if I fire all the enemy shots and it kills all my guys and you know such is life I'm not really partial to anyone because uh, my faction is the Freedom Federation which is a made up faction go figure okay <clears throat> so I've loaded the troops up on the assaults vehicles and assault vehicles up onto capital ships and all the fires on the capital ships for both units so <clears throat> let's make sure I'm on the space yes I'm going to start anywhere since I'm placing all the units I don't have to worry about you know the computer placing someone behind me now the en enemy I have two destroyers, a couple of corvettes, and then a bunch of fighters. And he has a corvette, two surveillance ships, and then a bunch of fighters. Plus the station. The station's going to be a big one. Alright. So let's get busy. Now I got the enemy, no, well, the Karita on the other other screen, so you're not going to be able to see that. So, <clears throat> some of you haven't seen Space Battles or really haven't tried it. It's really groovy. Ah, <laughs> it's like groovy. Oh, why do I always look over there when I'm trying to look at the camera? The camera's right there. <sighs> I'm a white guy, what can you say? With water. <laughs> Don't look. All right, so this over here. just so you'll know, for sh giggles, nope, that's not what I want. I'm running 41.18 to get the daily upload. I think it's number 48. So there's some cool things in Mech HQ that has been updated, like the planet. Um, 
editor or part of the planet editor it's not fully scoped in but to be able to change the planet to if I'm if you see me looking over here it's because it's over there the enemy oh there I go look over the enemy is over there so let me I'll talk while I deploy um, the new The new um, plant editor is kind of cool because I don't have to go into um, uh, XML editor and figure out what I need or what plant I need to change. Now I can just right click and change it. Alright, so I'm going to put the two destroyers right here. The enemy, if you can see, is way up here. That's the bat. That's the space station. And I want to put this capital ships out there. Alright, so this is the transport that has most of the troops on it. Hmm. Somehow I gotta get around the, the bad guys and get close enough. I'm gonna put them over here. My goal is to be as fair and balanced as I can. Alright, it looks like he's got two Corvettes, two Bug Eye ships. There's a Corvette that was probably down on the list somewhere. And I have two Corvettes, two Destroyers, and then a Transport. A transport packs good punch too. But for the first turn, really. It's not going to be any battle. So I'm going to actually record and show you the movements because space is so different than what most people are used to with Mega Mech. And uh, I think it's cool to watch uh, how space uh, affects the movement of stuff and what they've done in Mega Mech to portray that. Alright, so. The enemy has discovered our guys, right? Because they're on the same map. So I'm going to have to launch. Launch fighters from the space station. And that's what I'm doing right now. I can launch eight fighters. And as you can tell, boom, they're all stacked on top. That's great. Alright, so for my... I have a feeling that I'm going to get hammered. And the problem is, is that over here, once I get done with the space station, I still have another fleet which has got a bunch of just escorts and fighters. I still have that fleet to deal with before I can get to the uh, the ground. So this, you know, if I don't get some good rolls, I'm screwed. All right. So in space, it's a thrust. One thrust is one movement. You saw that little arrow. So let's see that arrow. I'll move it out to here. So <clears throat> on this thrust. I hit four thrust. Next turn I can hit no thrust and I'll still move four. Because until you counteract the thrust in space, you continue to go that way. Alright, so I'm gonna thrust four and then I'm actually going to launch some fighters. Alright. 
I'm not going to launch the assault crafts till I get closer because I really don't want them destroyed. And that's it. As you see, all four popped out. It's great. And in space, you can stack as many as you want on top of each other. There's no stacking limit. Alright, so let's see. Yep. This is fine. I'm going to go straight. Launch. Okay, I'm moving the enemy now. Same concept, I'm just going to thrust forward straight and then launch. Oh, he doesn't have, the bug guys don't have any fighters on board. Alright, so this guy. I'm going to thrust, thrust, do a right turn. And thrust, see how it, now it's moved over here. Thrust. I'm going to do a left turn to turn back. So I went this way and now I'm going back. I can't thrust anymore because it's the max thrust. Actually, I can't do that either. So let's thrust, turn right, thrust, turn left. There we go. I wanted to get over a little bit to the right, but I didn't want to point that way, so I'm going to keep on trying to, so I have maximum range of all my fighters, or I should say all my uh, ships. Moving the enemy's surveillance ship. Alright, my Pinto Corvette. Thrust, 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 thrust. And I'm going to launch. Hmm. I'm not going to launch those. I will launch these though. How many can I throw out four at a time? Four of his fighters. Actually, two of his fighters on one bay and two on the other. There we go. And this Pinta, I'm going to thrust, move right, thrust, thrust, turn left. Oh, I forgot to launch fighters. I forgot to launch fighters. Thrust, thrust, thrust. Right now it's time to move the fighters. So that's kind of cool. So you go four, four thrust forward, and now you get to move your fighters to four more thrusts. So you're actually really moving eight, eight units out with your fighters. So that's what I'm doing right now off of the one Corvette that launched four fighters. Now I'm on the other Corvette that launched four fighters. I'm just telling the fighters to go further closer to battle. Okay, now I got all the fighters from the space station. They're threat thrusting away to it's pain have to do it by yourself you know I'm the only child 
and so I've always been used to playing war games against each, against myself and for the most part be truthful there alright so as you notice here's all the enemies flying out so I'm just this first time is just gonna be a straight I'm not gonna do anything fancy I'm not trying to flank them yet just trying to get close enough to be able to actually fire my weapons I love space battle Alright, now the movement phase it shows all the fighters that was launched through each of the bays. Now firing phase. Alright. I don't expect to have too much firing capabilities. I'm not sure why it's not allowing me to fire. For some reason that one wouldn't allow me to fire. No, I saw I got eights. And I can't reach anything else for that fighter. This one, let's see, tens. I'm not going to be able to reach. The only thing I want to be able to reach with is the large lasers. And they're not really good numbers. This is still too far out. And, uh, next minute phase would be interesting because then I'm going to have to start figuring out maneuver rates and turn rates and all this good stuff maybe I'll get lucky and destroy that one alright so here's a capital ship they have a lot longer range as you can see Now, here's the question. Do I try to knock out some of the weapons on the space station? Or do I try to take out the capital ships? Or do I try to take out their fighters? So seven on the capital on the space station. And we need to roll third. I can't take out fighters. Capital ships aren't very good. Tens. Let's try to take out the Corvette. Second so gun fire two at them. Only two can reach. Alright, let's check out the fighter situation. See if maybe I can fire a Ten. Yeah. It's still really too far away to do much good. I might get a lucky, a lucky roll here or there. Maybe, but we'll see.
You want my transport, dude? Same thing. 15, so he's not going to be able to hit him. 13, so no. Nothing for him. So he's way out of range. Another Corvette. Thirteens, no. Twelves. And tens. Mm. Fire one time. Let's see. Same problem for this guy. Ooh, he's out of range completely. Yeah, eleven. Maybe get lucky. Alright, yeah. Oh, da Tens. That's about it. More than tens. So I'm gonna drag the enemies over here. And let's see where they're at. Yeah, they're totally out of range. The bugs aren't going to be able to fire anything. Let's see if the Vigilante can. Sevens. Let's see if they can hit the destroyer. Nines. So let's go ahead and hit the destroyer. That's it. The other Corvette. 11s, 8, so let's fire at him, now that's a 13, Thirteens. no, that's about it. Right, their fighters can't do anything. They only got short and medium range. So they're pretty well screwed. And the Lucifers. They're still out range. They're right on the cusp though. Next turn they'll be able to fire. He said plus this one. Bastion. Let's see if he can fire. Capital ships. Nope. Nope. Hmm. Medium. Uh, long. Wow. He can't fire anything. Alright. Not close enough. Alright, so that was round one. Round one, and it's already 30 minutes. So, thank you for viewing part one of this battle, which really hasn't started much. But I still want to thank you for viewing. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully, we can uh, 
resolve this battle within the next 30 minute time frame and uh, we shall see thank you and have a great day